Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Here's how you check the transmission fluid level on a Ford. Now this is an F-150 2006, but lots of the different Ford models uh, do this the same way. So first of all, you should have two dipsticks if your vehicle is kind of older like this one right here. This over here is the oil. That yellow one right there is the oil. Over here is the transmission fluid. It even says right there the transmission fluid on it. So, a couple tricks to this. Number one, you need to make sure that your vehicle is on level ground. Number two, the vehicle should be at normal operating temperature, so maybe drive it around for about 15 minutes. Also, the engine is on and idling as we check the transmission fluid level. What we're gonna do is pull this dipstick out. And by the way, engine's running, so look, that fan is spinning. You need to be careful. Long hair, long sleeves. Be very, very careful when you're doing this. So first thing we're gonna do is pull out the transmission dipstick, and we're just gonna clean it off. Next, we're gonna put our dipstick back in and make sure when you do this you put it all the way in it needs to sit 100 percent completely down all right and then this one right here we'll pull out carefully this is the one that we'll actually see the level on okay it's a little bit hard to see but the transmission fluid is right up to right about here and this is the top of the cross cross hatch so right here is what we're going for so right now Looks to me like we're about a half a quart or so short. Let's clean this off, put it back in, and let's double check it. When you're checking the transmission fluid, sometimes it's hard to see exactly where it's at. Sometimes I look at the front side, sometimes I'll kind of spin it over and kind of look at the back side too to see where we're at here. I think it's just fine. It's in the middle, but let's go ahead and put a little bit more transmission fluid in there and fill it up. Add transmission fluid. All you're gonna do is get a small funnel like this, put it in the dipstick hole, and that's actually where we're gonna add it in right there. Now let's talk about which fluid to use. Be very careful. This is Ford Motocraft LV. This is automatic transmission fluid, and this is not the right fluid to use. Be very careful. The only reason I have this is, this is the correct fluid for my vehicle's transfer case. So I labeled it right up there, but it's it's kind of confusing. So make sure you do your homework on this for this vehicle here, though I need Mercon 5 and 5 only. You cannot mix these two. They're not compatible at all. So let's put about a half a quart in here and then we'll check it again and see where we're at. Okay, after adding more fluid, you can see hopefully that it looks like it's right there, right at the top of the cross hatch. Again, you might consider, if you hold it up to light just right, maybe even spin it over and kind of see this side, the back side even looks more good. It's right there at the end of my thumbnail. And that is just about exactly where we're supposed to be. Okay, we'll clean this off and put the dipstick back in. Hey friends, hope today's video helped you out. If it did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I got lots of other videos on these Ford trucks, so subscribe to the channel. You can look out the playlist that I have too. All right, my friends, have a great day.